Well, howdy, tubers. Did you miss me? I don't hear anything. Still don't hear anything. Still don't hear anything. Well, anyway, let's see what we can do since I finally able maybe to do something on it. Uh, sh show you what we'll try to do or get done or whatever. And uh, Well, let's get going. Bye. What you chewing on? Did you get a treat? Did you get a treat to chew on? Well, I finally got part of this table painted back black. It's been painted uh, with that white Kelts primer, and I still don't know that it was dry. And that's been probably a week, so I don't know how long it takes this stuff to dry. But I painted this and then flip it over and do the other side so anyways that's that okay so what i think i'm gonna do oh i i, I was gonna say a little bit ago i was gonna say like uh mike patey says back to work back to work of course i don't show me saying that because i'm too ugly so we don't we skip on that part uh but i'm gonna start at the bottom in bulkhead d am i right uh b that's what i said b uh i know i said d anyway start at the bottom and i'll work my way up around this way so it keeps that skin tight uh and put clicos in there and then of course the a to b skin will fit in there and that's supposed to be all clicoed in and of course keeping keeping the ball in the center there and well that is if this ball is still centered and looks like it's not so that'll mean that other one's not centered now so we'll go check and see what we got here. Well, haven't much, haven't had much uh, comments on my Eindecker. Yeah, now we gotta have to twist this a piece to get that back in alignment. So we'll have to do that to uh, right when we're getting that skin on to get that s square, and then. Of course, here's the plans, and it's saying, it's saying countersink these holes, which of course you can't countersink these holes. You can countersink these holes, but you can't countersink these holes. These holes have to be um, dang it! Now I can't think of it. Uh, hang on. Okay, I got it. These will have to be dimpled. These will be countersunk. And the reason that is, is when the tank skin goes around there, it'll get, go against their flush instead of sticking up against the button head rivets that would normally be there. So that's the reason. And I don't know. That's something I probably should talk to Matt about is if uh, they're going to countersink these holes for this purpose and if they are going to dimple the skin for this purpose so that'll be something to ask Matt so at least well I mean I don't, don't need to do that right now because I'm just fitting things but when you go go to put it back together well then that's then these will be because I mean it'll be all clico together so for right now, it's just going to be clecoed together, and then when you take it apart to deburr it, then you can countersink these and dimple the the B to, B, to, B to A skin. So let's see what we can get done. Okay, here's what we got. 
that's still centered up there. And I devised this to hold a little bit of hold a little bit into it. We're zero there. I'm sure you guys can devise something sexier or something. But it's working for me. So now I will get to drilling these from the bottom up. That way it'll it'll kind of push up on this and keep it tight as we're going. And I probably didn't have my hands going the right way or the phone going. Anyways, I'm gonna start from the bottom and, and work my way up on both sides at the same time. Well, maybe not at the same times, but one hole over here and one hole over here and work my way around there. So this video is getting pretty long. So there you go and God bless.